Well, the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland is going on as we speak. You weren't invited. President Trump's Air Force One is one of the biggest planes there, but more than a thousand private jets have also showed up for the event, spewing vast amounts of carbon into the atmosphere. Despite this, global warming is, of course, a big topic in Davos, as it always is when rich people gather. Many attendees, including Al Gore, are claiming we need drastic worldwide action to save the planet. They want to ban cars, commercial air travel, meat, all to offset their private jet use. Mark Stein has been watching carefully. He's an author and columnist and a friend of the show. He joins us now to assess. So I kind of like how this works. I fly in my private plane. You have to stop eating hamburgers and walk, and that kind of balances out. Yes, that's that's right. This is this is a uh, the the way these guys plan that somehow uh, they will still get to jet around like Al Gore in his private plane going to world conferences, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, and you will be beating your laundry down on the rocks with the village women uh, getting your clothes dry because the washer and the dryer are destroying the planet. And, and the fact that they all meet in a remote luxury Swiss ski resort, you said that, uh, that uh, your viewers weren't invited, Tucker. And that's right, most people aren't invited because it's government leaders and what they call so-called stakeholders. And apparently 90% uh, of the schlubs on this planet don't have a stake in anything, but Kate Blanchett, uh, who's getting an award for raising awareness of refugees, she apparently counts as a, a stakeholder. So Incidentally, <laughs> They should have given the award for raising awareness of refugees to the mayor of Östersund in Sweden, who told the women of Östersund that they now had so many refugees, it wasn't safe for the ladies to go out at night. That's who I'd have given the... Uh, I don't think we need Kate Blanchett to raise awareness of refugees. And that's uh, refugees. their problem. So you hmm. have at Davos right now the leaders of the world's largest democracies, the economic leaders, the political hmm. leaders. How many of them do you think personally believe in democracy, for real? I don't think they do, and I think that's what's fascinating about this. They regard things like the Trump election and Brexit as, and the rise of, say, Marine Le Pen in France and uh, the AFD in Germany. They regard these things as aberrations and as proof that democracy has to be moderated by all the sensible, clever people getting together in a Swiss uh, ski resort, kind of like uh, the uh, Blofeld uh, doing the Spectre round table in, uh, at the top of the, the mountain, magic mountain in the... Yeah, in the Bond film On Her Majesty's Secret Service, if you're keeping in touch with your world conspiracies. They all meet on the top of a mountain like the Spectre board meeting in James Bond films, and they decide the measures they can take to ameliorate and moderate the voice of the people, because the voice but, but, of the people is vulgar and keeps voting for Trump and Brexit and that kind of thing. But don't you think if you're going to have a global conspiracy of elites, at least the people involved should be impressive and self-aware, smart? Yes, I, I think so. And I think it's become a rather sort of third-rate uh, pseudo-celebrity event. As you say, uh, the, the, this idea that they're, they're all the people with private jets, it's a kind of class thing. Uh, so there's a lot of layabout Saudi princes who fly in there. Uh, there's a lot of rather trashy celebrities. Uh, there's a lot of powerful <laughs> business leaders. But at heart, it is an anti-democratic bias. You mentioned that hamburgers cause global warming. That was this story today. I did didn't actually believe that, but it turns out that if you eat a breakfast sandwich from McDonald's, every time you eat a sausage and egg McMuffin, a polar bear loses its ice flow. Apparently, the sandwiches are responsible for global warming. So as bad as it is, Leonardo DiCaprio and Al Gore flying around to these summits on their private jets, if they all flew into Davos on a sausage and egg McMuffin, the entire planet would be kaput, because that's apparently what causes <laughs> global warming, according to these guys. OK, next January, you and I are going. Let's do a show from there. That would be so fun. Yeah, and we will go in on your personal Tucker Carlson Tonight show official sausage and egg McMuffin magic flying plane. As they say, next year in Davos. Mark, thank you. That's right. Great. Thanks, <laughs> Great to Tucker. See you.